We're going to take a look at ratios and proportions, and this will help us to prepare for our work in Chapter 7 on similar polygons. First of all, a ratio is a comparison of two numbers by division, and there's three main, main ways that we see ratios written. We can see it written as a fraction, or with a colon, or written with the word 2. And when we have a proportion, it's because two ratios are equal. So a lot of times you'll see something like 3 over 4 equals x over 8, and then you need to solve for x. That would be an example of a proportion. Let's take a look at some sample problems. Um, here we can see that we're going to find the ratio of the length to the width of a rectangular field. But notice the units are not the same. Here we have kilometers, and here we have meters, and in order to compare the two of these, we actually need to work with the same unit. So I can either change kilometers to uh, meters or meters to kilometers. I'm going to change the one kilometer to a thousand meters, and that will allow me to compare the thousand meters to 300 meters. And ratios have no units associated with them, and so because these have the same units, meters and meters, I can cancel my units, and then I can divide both my numerator and denominator by 100, so I'll end up a ra with a ratio of uh, 10 to 3. But the key to this problem was making sure you had the same units. Let's take a look at another example. Um, here we have a telephone pole that's 7 meters tall. It was snapped into two parts during a windstorm, and the ratio of the two parts is 3 to 2. Now, clearly 3 plus 2 doesn't add to 7, so what we're going to do is multiply the 3 by x and 2 by the same number x and we're going to see what happens, what, what, what we'll get for x. In other words, 3 parts plus 2 parts has to equal 7. That's going to be our equation for this. And this is a pretty easy equation to solve. We're going to combine like terms, so 3x plus 2x equals 5x and then we'll divide both sides by 5 and when we do that we're going to get the value for x which would be 1 and 2 fifths or 1.4. Now 1.4 isn't the length, 1.4 meters here, isn't the length of either piece of the, the tree it's, or the pole, it's uh, what we have to multiply by 2 and what we have to multiply by 3. So our two pieces of our pole are going to be 2.8 meters for the shorter piece that's 1.4 doubled, and then 1.4 tripled would be 5.2. So those are in a ratio of uh, 3 to 2, and notice that when we add these together we get a sum of 7 meters. Let's take a look at some other examples. Um, is the ratio of A to B always, sometimes, or never equal to the ratio of B to A? Well, obviously if A and B were numbers like 3 and 4, 3 over 4 is not the same as 4 over 3, but if A was equal to B, uh, then obviously, like a 5, let's say, if A and B were both 5, 5 over 5 would be the same as 5 over 5. Or, um, if A and B were opposites, um, so for example, 5 and negative 5, um, 5 over negative 5 would be the same as negative 5 over 5. So the answer to this is sometimes. They're sometimes equal. Depends on the values of A and B. Let's take a look at example four. Got a couple more examples to go here. An office copy machine can reduce by 90%, thus making the copy slightly smaller than the original. What's the ratio of the length of a line of text in the original to the length of the line of a copy um, of the text? So, in other words, if our, let's say our original was 10 inches long, that means the copy would now be 90% of the original, so that would be 9 inches long. And the question is, what is the ratio of the original to the copy? So that would be 10 to 9. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Um, what is the ratio of 750 milliliters to 1.5 liters? Once again, the units are not the same, so I need to either change milliliters to liters or liters to milliliters. Um, I'm going to change the 1.5 liters to milliliters. Uh, 1.5 liters is the same as 1,500 
milliliters. That's because there's a thousand milliliters in every liter. So now that my units are the same, I can actually compare these. The units cancel. And uh, 750 is half of 1,500, so we have a ratio here of 1 to 2. All right, and let's take a look at this last example. The ratio of the length of two segments is 4 to 3 when they are measured in centimeters. What is the ratio when they are measured in inches? Well, me choosing to measure these lengths here in centimeters or inches doesn't change how long they are. So if the original ratio when we measured them in centimeters was 4 to 3, when we measure them in inches, the length are still going to be in a ratio of 4 to 3. And that's the end of this lesson on ratios and proportions.